Hello guys and welcome to a new gameplay video. I want to start this video by congratulating our friends in South Africa and the countries next to them for finally getting their own server. But you guys can't use bad ping as an excuse anymore. As for today's video, I'm sorry I talk a lot these days. So as always, if you're here for the gameplay, then skip to the time shown on the screen. I also feel like I accidentally started a Netflix series on how to counter shotgun players. It all started with the Trap Master video, followed by the Refitter class video. And of course, there are other ways you can use to counter shotgun players like using the defender class to blind them or the pumped class to give you the high ground advantage and to keep your distance away from them. However, today is the day I show you the best and the most efficient way to counter shotgun players, which is fighting fire with fire. And that's exactly what I'm witnessing these days as more players started using shotguns in the past few seasons. You guys already know that I don't use shotguns, but I wanted to try them for myself, first of all to see how the changes affected them. So I used them for about 3 days and I noticed the following. First of all, the chest 0405. I didn't really notice much difference, it feels the same. But that's mainly because this gun was already strong. Like I can't imagine this gun getting any better than this, unless you wanted to kill enemies without shooting. Next, the BY-15. It's like better overall but barely noticeable and that's for a reason because this gun has an advantage over the other one top shotguns which is the fast fire rate so if they give it more damage or range then it will be very overpowered finally we have the krm this one is pretty obvious and i'm sure everyone agrees that it received a huge buff first of all the change they did in season 6 and another buff this season where they improved the range and the hip fire accuracy of this gun making it in my opinion the most deadly close range ground loot gun in the game right now i mean Players used to make jokes about how bad this gun was, but who's laughing now? And the second reason why I wanted to use shotguns is because many players say that shotguns require skill to use, which is something I completely agree with. Obviously I'm not talking about the Jack-12, I don't even consider that gun a shotgun. I'm talking about the one tap shotgun, because you need to make sure you hit your shots. And if you don't, you're dead. Simple as that. However, with the changes they made, I think it's fair to say that it became easier to master shotguns now compared to the older seasons. It's all about spending some time playing with them until you get used to them, which is really the case with any gun. If you want to be good with a certain type of a gun, then just keep playing with it. The most important thing I noticed when you pick a shotgun is to be confident. I mean, confidence is important in the game overall, but it's extra important when using shotguns because you can't afford to miss. And you'll notice in certain parts of the gameplay that I'm about to show you that I panic because things didn't go according to plan and as a result my aim was potato Bruh. 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 And finally, when using shotguns, you have two options. You either go with the one-top shotguns, which is what I suggest, or you choose to fight dirty and you go with the Jack-12. Even though this gun was nerfed this season, it's still actually good. But I highly don't recommend it because you're gonna end up losing brain cells. And it will make you forget how to use the other real guns. So my goal during these games was to try and use all of the shotguns to see the difference between them. Even in this game, I started with the KRM, then I switched to the BY-15, and finally I got an HS from the loadout airdrop. So this is the part where I kind of panic because it took forever to kill the first enemy and then I got rushed by another one. So my brain got an error and I went into potato mode. Another thing worth mentioning here that many players say that shotguns are inconsistent, which is something I disagree with. Just go to the settings and turn on the damage indicator option. This way you know how much damage exactly you're dealing to the enemy. Because unlike other guns, shotguns bullets have many pellets in them. And sometimes it takes you 3 or 4 shots to kill the enemy not because of the shotgun being inconsistent, it's because you have a trash 
flash aim like mine. If you aim right, then you should be able to kill with one or two shots max at close range. And that of course comes with practice. Trap deployed. Drop is coming. I want you guys to know that this is the result of less than three days of shotgun practice on Alcatraz. I'm not saying that I never use shotguns. I do use them occasionally in the start of the game and sometimes I pick them from the enemies I kill when I don't have a gun. And I'm far from being a good shotgun player. But if this is the result of three days, then imagine what I'll achieve after a month of practice. And imagine the level some players reached after using them for over a year. Like Broken for example. He hits his shots like he breathes air. And they achieved a level where they don't even aim anymore. They just flick their shots. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.